Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Emma. In this video, we will discuss some concepts about Windows jobs. A job views the set of processes as a group. It is a kernel object that can control the group of processes. For each process in the group, the job object defines parameters like process priority, how much CPU time a process can use, how much network and disk resources can be assigned to the job, etc. When using a Windows computer, jobs are not directly visible. We can use tools like Process Explorer in the user land and Windows Debugger in the kernel land to view them. Here's why we are interested in jobs for reverse engineering. Malware samples sometimes create malicious Windows jobs. The sample would then control the processes that are part of a malicious job. It becomes important to identify and extract more information about a suspicious job. Here's how we can view information about the active jobs in user land. I have Process Explorer tracking the active processes on the system. Navigate to Options and Configure Colors. Check the option for jobs. All items highlighted in orange are jobs. Here they are. This is the process for the Windows debugger. It has a child process. Both parent and child have been marked as part of a job. Right click on this process and select properties. Navigate to the job tab. You can view information about the name assigned to the job and the list of processes that are part of this job unit. Most applications like web browsers typically run as multiple child processes. In some cases, the parent and all the children are all part of the same job unit. Now, let's observe a job in kernel land. I have Windows Debugger running in kernel debugging mode. Let's view information about the command prompt process. Two instances of this application are active. Here is a field called job. If a process is part of a job unit, then this field has a non-zero address value. One is part of a job unit and one is not. Let's focus on this instance. To view information about the job, let's click on the address. We can view information about the various job parameters. We can see that there are two active processes in this job. To view those processes, we will issue the same command again with the flag value 2. Processes for command prompt and console host are part of this job unit. You can further examine the e-process structures of these two processes. Do you have a good idea now about Windows jobs? In your home lab, try to observe active jobs using in the user land and kernel land tools. Stay tuned to our channel for more videos on Windows internals. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!